Hey there, everybody. Welcome back. Today, we are going to take a look at a very popular internet program called Google Chrome. Before we get started, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 700 subscribers. You can be the next one. All right, so what we're going to do is whatever internet browser that we have on our computer, we're going to go find it. Microsoft Edge, Internet Explorer, Firefox, and whatnot. Uh, this is a brand new install and I need Google Chrome. So we're going to use Microsoft Edge to get what we need. Go ahead and open up the uh, browser. And then up here in the top, we're just going to type www.google.com slash chrome. That's going to take us to Google's web page where we can download Chrome. Now, there's a little button here that you got to pay attention to. Help make Google Chrome better by automatically sending usage statistics and crash reports to Google. So what that means is, is any time that your browser has an issue, it's going to go ahead and report home to Google with what your problem was. It may or may not contain personal information. If you want to help them, I suggest hitting the Learn More link and reading in depth about what you're giving up in that process. I just go ahead and hit the checkbox, unchecking it. Now we're running Windows 10 on this computer, but Google Chrome is still good for 8.1, 8, and 7. It auto selects whether you're on a 64 bit or 32 bit computer, so it knows. Your browser tells it that. And we're going to go ahead and hit Download Chrome. Once we do that, in most browsers, it's going to show up somewhere along the bottom line here. What do you want to do with Chrome? I want to go ahead and run it. At the same time, the web page is now taking you to a when you finished page. Don't worry about that. It's just a helpful page. The tendency is, is that you get confused like you have to interact with that particular page when in reality you're actually running a computer program right now and we don't even need this browser open anymore. So once that bar is gone and you see this little flashing approval thing, let's just go ahead and close out of Edge or Firefox or whatever you're using. Click this little approval. It's going to say it needs to know if the Google update setup is allowed to make some actions on this computer. Do you want to allow it to make changes? This shows you where the file is and information like that. Hit yes, because we're installing Google Chrome. We know it's there. It's going to give you a little funny on your marks. Get set. Now it's going to say downloading, and you're like, wait, I just downloaded it. What it does is it gives you a pre-installer that you downloaded, and now the real installation file has been downloaded. That way you have a quick bit to get you to where you need to be, and then the little bit longer is in the background kind of in hiding. So now that it says download complete, a few seconds later, the install will take place. And then we're going to see it starts installing. And it was that simple. Now Google Chrome is installed. Now a couple things that I like to make a quick change about. This is going to be your little uh, helpful hints. So on Windows 10, setting the default isn't as easy as it used to be. We have to hit set default. And I do recommend this if you're going to use Google Chrome as your primary browser. And then once it comes up with default apps, you're just going to choose your app, which you can see your choices here. And we hit Google Chrome. Now you'll see that down here, web browser is set. And then we'll X out of that. And we're back to the Google page. Now, now that you're in the browser, you could enter your search terms in the, uh, in the bar. You can enter an address up top. The thing I really like to do, though, is hit these little three dots over here, the ellipsis, and go to bookmarks and show bookmarks bar. That's going to put your bookmarks bar right across the top here. So if we hit this little yellow star or little white star, it will 
bring up a bookmark and you can see it's already populating on the bookmarks bar and we can hit done and then you have your bookmark there for easy access. The other thing you can do is if you are a Google user and you use Gmail, YouTube, any of those things and you'd like to start syncing your passwords, your uh browser history, your bookmarks, and so on. You can do that by clicking on this little profile button. You'll see it says not signed in and sync and personalize Chrome access across your devices. You hit turn on sync. It's going to take you to a Google page where you will type in your Google username. And then once you hit next, you're going to see your Google password. Hit next again and you will be logged in. It is as simple as that. And then your bookmarks, your passwords, everything will be shared from one computer to the next or even your phone. I use this as a method to get bookmarks from my phone to my computer and vice versa. Any computer I log into, I go add myself in here and sign in. You can have multiple people signed in there, so two or three. And if you go here, you can go to other people and it will open up their profile with their bookmarks and passwords. All right, guys. That appears to be it. So don't forget, you can always find Chrisfield Computers on YouTube <laughs> there we are and searching is as simple as that in Google Chrome now lastly one very important thing hit that subscribe button for me we'll see you next time